You know how Fox has a weird way of counting Simpsons episodes? That you refuse to count a couple of them, make the amount of episodes inconsistent? The reason for this is a lost episode from season 1. Finding details about this missing episode is difficult. No one who was working on the show at the time likes to talk about it. From what has been pieced together, the lost episode was written entirely by Matt Goring. During production for the first season, Matt started to act strangely. He was very quiet, seemed nervous and morbid. Mentioning this to anyone who was present results in them getting very angry and forbidding you to ever mention it to Matt. I first heard of it at an event where David Silverman was speaking. Someone in the crowd asked about the episode, and Silverman simply left the stage, ending the presentations hours early. The episode's production number was 7G06. The title was Dead Barked. The episode labeled 7G06, Moaning Lisa, was made later and given Dead Bart's production code to hide the latter's existence. In addition to getting angry, asking anyone who was on the show about it, this will cause them to do everything they can to stop you from directly communicating with Matt Goring. At a fan event, I managed to follow him after he spoke to the crowd and eventually had a chance to talk to him alone as he was leaving the building. He didn't seem upset that I had followed him, probably expecting a typical encounter with an obsessed fan. When I mentioned the lost episode though, all color drained from his face and he started trembling. When I asked him if he could tell me any details, he sounded like he was on the verge of tears. He grabbed a piece of paper, wrote something on it, and handed it to me. He begged me never to mention the episode again. The piece of paper had a website address on it. I'd rather not say what it was for reasons you'll see in a second. I entered the address into my browser and I came to a site that was completely black except for a line of yellow text, a download link. I clicked on it and a file started downloading. Once the file was downloaded, my computer went crazy. It was the worst virus I've ever seen. System restoring didn't work. My entire computer had to be rebooted. Before doing this though, I copied the file onto a CD. I tried to open it in, on my empty computer, and I suspected there was a episode of The Simpsons on it. The episode started off like any other episode, but had very poor animation quality. If you've ever seen the original animation for some enchanted evening, it was similar, but less stable. The first act was fairly normal, but the way the characters acted was a little off. Homer seemed angrier, Marge seemed depressed, Lisa seemed anxious, and Bart seemed to have genuine anger and hatred for his parents. The episode was about the Simpsons going on a plane trip. Near the end of the first act, the plane was taking off. Bart was fooling around as you could expect. However, the plane was about 50 feet off the ground. Bart broke a window on the plane and was sucked out. At the beginning of the series, Matt had an idea that the animated style of the Simpsons world represented life, and the death turned things more realistic. This was used in this episode. The picture of Bart's corpse was barely recognizable. They took full advantage of it not having to move and made an almost photorealistic drawing of his dead body. Act 1 ended with a shot of Bart's corpse. When Act 2 started, Homer, Marge, and Lisa were sitting at their table crying. The crying went on and on. It got more pained and the sounded more realistic. Better acting than what you would think possible. The animation started to decay even more as they cried and you could hear murmuring in the background. The characters could barely be made out. They were scratching and blurring. They looked like deformed shadows with random bright colors thrown on them. 
There were faces looking in the window, flashing in and out, so you were never sure what they looked like. This crying went on for all of Act 2. Act 3 opened with a title card saying one year had passed. Homer, Marge, and Lisa were skeletonly thin and still sitting at the table. There was no sign of Maggie or the pets. They decided to visit Bart's grave. Springfield was completely deserted. And as they walked to the cemetery, the houses became more and more decrepit. They all looked abandoned. When they got to the grave, Bart's body was just in front of the tombstone, looking just like it did at the end of Act 1. The family started crying again. Eventually, they stopped and just stared at Bart's body. The camera zoomed in on Homer's face. According to summaries, Homer tells a joke at this part but it isn't audible in this version I saw. You can't tell what Homer is saying. The view zoomed out as the episode came to a close. The tombstones in the background had the names of every Simpson guest star on them, some that no one have heard of in 1989. Some haven't been on the show yet. All of them had death dates on them. For guests who died since, like Michael Jackson and George Harrison, the dates were when they would die. The credits were completely silent and seemed handwritten. The final image was the Simpson family on their couch, like in the intros, but all drawn in hyper-realistic, lifeless style of Bart's corpse. A thought occurred to me after seeing the episode for the first time. You could try to use tombstones to predict the deaths of the living Simpson guest stars, but there's something odd about most of the ones who haven't died yet. All of their names are listed as the same date. Hey guys, thanks for listening to today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more. And remember the links to the Facebook page, the Twitter, and the Instagram, as well as the source for today's video and the music are all in the description below. So make sure you go check those out. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time in the Deadly Zone, stay deadly and stay spooky.